Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. So all we're doing here is we're just fishing these eddies, these backwaters. You do have an area, fair enough, where the causeway is overflowing into these canal systems, but I do like to fish that area, but I also like to fish these little backwaters. Sometimes the fish, they get in there, they're using all their energy, their power. You've got to think about it. If you're in that white water rush, you're using up all your you're going to get buggered. So they'll come back and I'll sit in these eddies and I'll just sit there and wait. So hopefully with this little prawn will be able to get out there and just drift it past their face and they'll, they'll snavel it up. I'll also put on some live mullets as well. Basically anything that's going to resemble a fish coming across that causeway, I might be in the money. So fish guide, the other thing about these particular areas is that you do get a lot of bycatch. And this is the type of bycatch that you don't really want. Now this, <laughs> this isn't purposely done because you cannot legally jag fish bait, by the way. I thought this what a monster mullet. was the best jack. Yep. And it wasn't. You can see there, he's dragging the lure through the water and the lure's pinned him right in the yeah, center of the back. Wow. Perfect for live bait. <laughs> if you, you want to catch a shark. <laughs> See you, mate. Nice job, buddy. We're just wrong, wrong fish. Wrong colour, wrong fish. Let's go, to get, let's go get another one. All right, mate, good luck. So this is the Corrado 150 HG DC. It's the digitally controlled bait caster. I've got that matched up with its paired rod, which is the Corrado bait caster, six to eight kilo. Lure weight, 10 to 20 grams. Fantastic little outfit. It's a double-handed bait caster as well, so if you want to give it a bit more oof, you can really flick it out there and get around those snags. And it's a good height as well. I like this rod being generally about six foot one, maybe six foot four. Look at that. Hooked in the mouth, mullet. I'm a Zurich live mullet. They are cannibals, they'll eat each other. <laughs> He's going, hey, you look at my cousin Frank. <laughs> Put that on live, I'm sure you'll catch a big one, but it's just one of those things that when you are fishing these particular waters, you don't know what you're going to hook up to. Fair enough, all of those other bait fish style of species such as mullet and herring, etc., be all balled up in these corners. And that's what's bringing those bigger fish, whether it's a jack, a trevally, or anything else. But you treat every hook up as if it's going to be a quality fish. I've succumbed to the pressure. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. When fishing a causeway, do what Fish Guy does. I'm gonna take this lure off and put something on that resembles a tilapia, because that's what he's using. Oh my God, I'm downgrading to a mullet. I say to people before you go fishing, 
make sure that you have your cast dialed and you want to get right on that location. So in that eddy over there, that's where you think there might be a fish. A little bit of distance. Over she goes. Boom. Right in the corner, there's a fish in there. You're gonna get smacked. Mate, have you ever seen something like this? Ever experienced Not at this? all. This is crazy. And and you can see from this shot here, he's yep. taken two hooks into his mouth yep. and he's hitting it head first. Yep. Um, this, is, this is the Zerik 5 inch and I'm using an extra hook on the front. And uh, you can see today, like what is my fifth or sixth now, and they're just hitting this colour and they're hitting it head first. And I've never experienced mullet doing that. And they're big mullet. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of mullet and caught a lot of mullet on floats and bread and bits of worm and all that sort of stuff there, Amazing. but never hitting lures. Not like that. As in trying to attack them. No, I, I, that hit there was right in the shallows in maybe about a foot of water as it comes up and over the rocks. And I thought it was a jack. Like instantly thought, oh, I'm on here. And no, there's a mullet. Because we are fishing a, a causeway, a runoff at the moment from all the recent fresh water that uh, these fish are up there. They're feeding on anything that's coming over. So this is the natural food chain. They're feeding on anything coming over that weir. And then the bigger fish that's are right. feeding on these mullet. That's right. And, and we're after the bigger fish that are eating <laughs> this fella. And this fella's eating our lure. So he's getting in the road. We'll get this hook out and get him back into the water. Yeah. And see if we can make an upgrade. So here's a tip for you, if you're casting a bait caster, disengage it and try and keep it on the side. It rolls on its bearings, therefore you'll get a better distance cast, just like so. Watch it, pour it to drink, thumb on, lay it back, and in you go. It's an easy and simple way of catching a fish on a bait caster. There he comes. So it's a lot of fun catching these mullet. I have succumbed to Timmy's antics of targeting mullet on the Zerik live mullet. In fact, this is the fish trap. I changed it over, but uh, yep, still a lot of fun. And have a look at that just to show you guys. Get that one out there. Have a look at that. He's actually come up and had a smash of that fish trap in its mouth. So, yep, there's a little bit of jagging here and there going on because there's so many. But uh, just light tackle and a lot of fun. We always talk about a plan A and a plan B. And in this case, this is our plan H. I didn't want to catch a mullet at all. And Timmy didn't want to catch one. We're here to target other species that generally fish these areas or hunt these areas during the runoffs. But, hey, it's a scale. Job done. Now here's some tips to fishing a runoff. Before you wear the line, always check the surrounds before fishing, just to be sure that no banks are about to cave in. Four to six kilo spin or bait cast combo. Use a variety of surface and subsurface lures. Remember to work the eddies and back waters. That's where the fish will sit. And also set your drag and hang on. Good luck. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.